we go for afternoon tea on a big ship. On a great big ship down here at the port of Leith in Edinburgh. But this ship is a special ship. It doubles up as a hotel. So we're going to go on board and this is our Valentine's Day treat. Are you ready, Mrs. E? Yep. Lots of food, lots of sandwiches, lots of cakes tea. and tea. tea. Well, coffee for me. Let's go on board. It's called Fingles, and I believe it's actually quite posh. <laughs> Hi, yeah. Well, this is a snazzy lift, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Glass elevator. <laughs> Lighthouse restaurant here on the Fingal boat certainly makes a fabulous venue for afternoon tea. Now, of course, in Edinburgh, you can go to Carberry Tower, we've been there before, the Balmoral Hotel, the Waldorf Astoria. There's all sorts of venues for afternoon tea, but here is a really special, unique location. We decided to go for the champagne afternoon tea, so that includes a glass of moe. Cheers, Mrs. E. Cheers. The lady on reception said that after we've had our afternoon tea, we're completely free to wander around the ship, including out on the deck and down into the depths of the engine room. So looking forward to that, so stick around to the end of the video. But first, we're gonna get stuck into this afternoon tea and champagne. We're starting with an amuse-bouche, a spiced red lentil soup. Always have to have a sniff first. Oh yeah, it's got a, a hint of chili con carne, but it's um, it's quite sweet too. That's called leaf lights tea, and it's got turmeric and tropical fruits in it. She rather tasty. And I'm just being Mr. Predictable. Black Americano coffee for me. Oh, but it's good black Americano coffee. So what have we got? We've got beetroot cracker. We've got a crispy duck one ton and I can't remember exactly what it is. It's a posh sausage roll, something like pulled pork sausage roll. Mrs. E's got her own platter, same thing down there. And then right at the bottom, we've got ham sandwiches and egg and watercress sandwiches. Really delicious. Can't wait to get stuck into it. Let's go in for the beetroot cracker. Basically, it's like tortilla chips and salsa, but elevated to a completely different level. This is the one I'm really looking forward to. This is the duck, the crispy duck with the hoisin sauce. Mm. 
Oh. Mm, that's phenomenal, isn't it? That one top was absolutely delicious. Mm. Very, very dinky ham and celeriac sandwiches. Sorry, ham and celeriac baguettes. I know Mrs. E's looking forward to these sweet treats, but I've already forgotten what this one on the end is. But this one is lemon curd. This one is an espresso with chocolate in it. And this one on the end is a walnut and syrup macaron. Of course, at the bottom, we've got scones, clotted cream, and jam. And let's not have the eternal argument as to which one comes first. Ooh, got dignified way to do this. No, I don't like coffee, but that is nice. I'm going to retain my dignity and go for the easy one, the macaron. Mmm. <laughs> so sweet. Well, I've put the cream on first. So. I've absolutely no idea whether it's jam or cream first. It's not a problem for me because I only ever have the jam. <laughs> mm. Very, very fruity jam on that beautiful warm scone. Happy Valentine's Day, Mrs. E. Okay, now we're going to have a look round the ship and hopefully we'll be able to have a look into one of the rooms. I mean, cabins. We've already been told it's a hotel, but they're not rooms, they're cabins because we are on a ship. First stop is the bridge. And what's in this one? That is a big book. It is. It's got some beautiful pictures in. Fingal was originally commissioned back in 1963 and it's actually a lighthouse boat. It was used to ferry lighthouse keepers from land to lighthouse and after it was decommissioned it came here to Leith and of course it's now a hotel. Hence why you don't stay in a room, you stay in a cabin and this is the bridge. I wonder whether we can just go outside. Oh, I've always wanted to play around with one of those. Full ahead, Mr. Christian. And from the bridge, we can see the Port of Leith, just over there. And there is the Port of Leith tram stop. So if you're wanting to get the tram down to Fingal's to have afternoon tea, hop on the tram, St. Andrew Square or the airport, and get yourself down to the Port of Leith. We'll take the stairs. And this will be where the cabins are. This is really quite special. It's a pity we live in Edinburgh. There's less excuse to stay in a hotel in Edinburgh when you live in Edinburgh, but we might make an exception on this occasion. This cabin is a luxury duplex, and that means it's on two levels. We've got this sitting area up here, and then downstairs is the actual bedroom and bathroom. Okay, let's have a look down here. Oh wow, that is pretty impressive. And behind each bed is a map of where the lighthouse that the room is named after actually is. Just look at this bathroom. Colossal bath. And if there are two of you, twin basins. 
And if you don't like a bath, the shower is big enough for at least six people. I was genuinely expecting something really small and pokey, given it's a ship. But this is really spacious. I'm absolutely blown away by this. And finally, here is the engine room. Oh, wow. I guess we're really down in the bowels of the ship now, but the space is, again, really impressive. Look at the size of this engine room. This is the ballroom. Again, isn't this magnificent to say that we are on a ship? They've even got a minstrel gallery up there. It's ironic that we're a stone's throw away from the Royal Yacht Britannia because I'm getting Royal Yacht Britannia vibes just from looking at this. And up the stairs, we have the ballroom bar. Actually, I made a reference to the Royal Yacht Britannia just before, and the gentleman showing us round has just pointed out that Fingal is owned by the Royal Yacht Britannia. So a lot of the hospitality is interchangeable between the two venues. That's why I was getting Royal Yacht Britannia vibes from Fingal. <laughs> was one of the best afternoon teas we've had. It even beats the Balmoral. I absolutely agree with you, Trish. It was fantastic. They really pulled the stops out in there. The staff were really, really friendly. And that guy that showed us round the rooms and the engine room and the ballroom afterwards, he was so friendly and so informative. And of course, he works for the Royal Yacht Britannia Company. We would highly recommend coming down to Leith here, at the port of Leith, for afternoon tea on the Fingal ship. And if you really want to treat yourself, if you really want to push the boat out, maybe consider having a night in one of those fantastic rooms. Thank you so much for watching this episode. We'll see you on the next one for some more travel adventures and a little drop of history. Just call on me. Just call on me